Hi, right, y'all. It's Queen Chandler back on here. Now, check this out. You know, this was from Sunday night. I did play two uh, numbers here in South Carolina. Now, remember that tic-tac-toe box or the tic-tac-toe workout that I was going to make a video of and I hadn't done it yet? Well, I'm still planning on doing that, but, you know, I need some folks to throw a little bit more in that cash app on me. You know, just a little bit, not no... I'm not saying twenty dollars a piece, nothing like that. Just a little bit on that cash app, and when I get enough in, I'm gonna make a video, and I'll tell everybody about it. Uh, let me see, Angela, you throw me five dollars on there, which was great, and I appreciate it. But I, I'm, I'm gonna call you after a while. You wanna call me? And I will explain to you the tic-tac-toe over the phone. I'm not quite ready to make the video on it yet. Because it seems like don't nobody care. Well, the tic-tac-toe for Sunday's workout led me to believe that it was going to be either one of those two numbers. Either the 807 or a 016. Now the 016 is because I know that that is a triple indicator. It was in the workout and I'm like, well, let me give it a shot. You know, I ain't one to spend a whole bunch of money on these tickets because I ain't had a whole bunch of money to play. And uh, if I can, I'll play. If I can't, I just won't play. But now it did tell me in my tic-tac-toe and I did look on the uh, chart as well it showed me that I had an 8 7 something coming up well when I have a something if I'm not gonna sit there and play everything like saying 8 7 0 8 7 2 all the way up the scale to 8 7 9 Um, I just I'm just gonna only spend a couple dollars on on my numbers and, and hey take my chance. Well, last night it actually came out zero, so we knew the zero was going to be in it. I saw because I saw the zero in the tic tac toe and on the chart, but it came out as zero four nine. So I guess what I want to say is that. South Carolina pick three has really turned into a thinking game because what it's causing you to do I mean it's on like I said it came on the tic-tac-toe but at the same time it kind of leads you to believe um that it's only going to be certain numbers but I mean if you like me and you ain't got but just a teeny little bit you can spend on the tic-tac-toes um it kind of pays to know your numbers yeah because especially when I look back on the uh, past results over the years I look it up on South Carolina website and I go all the way back to 2002 to when the lottery first started I try to do the same thing on other states that I play when I'm checking out a number for a certain state. But I see what was the main the main chosen numbers on that one certain number, and that's how I arrive at my number that I'm actually going to play. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is it it fell Sunday night zero four nine and I got to looking at it the workout was in the tech I mean the number was in the tic tac toe so it told me there was gonna be an eight seven in this today's midday draw but yet again it could have went something different like a 761 or 711 you're just sort of taking a chance 
But with that seven right there being in the end, um, wait a minute. Now let me back it up because that that's um the number that I actually picked. Um, with the zero four nine. Okay, that's zero four nine. The four being in the center kind of told me that it was also going to be the 8-7. It didn't say nothing about no zero, but it told me that it was going to be an 8-7. And with the direction that the 4 was, um, usually the number that's in the center is going to come back in the first spot on the next draw, and the number that's on the very end that's at the last well, it's going to uh, draw something out coming from it, and it's going to be in the center. So when all was said and done today, this is Monday evening, it came out 278. So we really wasn't that far off. And then I looked it up on the chart. It was also on the chart as well, just like that. Two seven eight. I've been sitting here too busy now for eating time to figure out what's going to happen for tonight. Uh, but it could give me an indication that because of that seven being where it's at, it could be a couple of things. What? Well, well, really, one or two things. It could be either an all odd wave, which would be all odd numbers. It could be a series number. I'm thinking maybe uh, three, four, five. I don't think the two, three, four coming back. I don't think so. Or it could be something like um, two, eight, nine, which you know the nine was the nine. If you're thinking about it, would mirror that two back into a seven. But I believe, in my mind, what it would do is it's going to, instead of mirroring the 2 into a 7, it's going to send a 2 in the 7th place to represent a 7. So that would be 2, 8, 9. You know, you could still think of it as 7, 8, 9. Did anyone I just said make a sense? I hope so, because, I mean, my world of numbers sometimes... Is enough to drive any damn body crazy. Any of y'all want uh, the chart right now? I could really use the help out there. Um, call me up. I'll tell you how to get the chart. If you want some numbers, call me up. I'll throw a little cash up on there, and I'll get you some numbers to play. In the same way, if you want to know about the uh, tic tac toe ups, or the tic tac toe workouts, throw a little in that cash up. All right, it'll be Queen Chingling, and I'm out of here. Ciao, y'all.